Last night, I just mentioned before in the prior clip, I had the opportunity to see the DC premiere of Casualties of War. I also, over the past, had the opportunity to speak with Mr. Yahya McLean and see this uh, this project that, uh, of true passion. And, and uh, that, my, my meetings with Mr. Yahya McLean had inspired me to create dog tags uh, that actually say Casualties of War on one side and the names of children who are alienated from their parents or loving parents that miss their children. Yaya's, uh, Yaya's passion went into making an outstanding documentary. Uh, the dog tags that I wear are an homage to Mr. McLean to keep me inspired to stay in this fight when I really feel like I've taken a beating. But I've learned from a man that has uh, fought in the ring against some very large and scary men, and he's taken on that challenge. He's here today to speak to you about uh, casualties of war. And um, I also, for my friends in New York, we're planning a premiere in uh, New York uh, to uh, show casualties of war. And please let your friends know if you're in the region, follow. I will be posting the location. Mr. Gary Jacobs of Americans for Legal Reform will be renting a theater in, I believe, Huntington, New York. The details will be coming. And we hope to bring Mr. Yaya McLean personally there to uh, show his film. So thank you. Yaya McLean. Thank you, sir. Y'all give it up for Carlos. Yeah, Carlos. Like he's a comedian. All right. Many of you know me as Yaya McLean, the boxer. Some of you call me. All right. All right. Good save. Many of you know me as Yaya McLean, the boxer, or Layla Ali's ex-husband, or the guy that wears the suit and smokes a cigar, or the guy that's doing the documentary. But there's a whole lot more to me than just that. You know, I'm a former two-time world champion boxer. I'm from the projects in New York City. I'm an ex-Marine, and I've been in more street fights than one can imagine. I've been shot at to the point where my older brother got shot in the back standing next to me as we were running away from people that were shooting at us. And I'm saying all these things to say that I've been fighting all my life, but this battle that us parents, not fathers, that us parents are losing in the family law court system is by far the hardest fight I've ever been involved in. And I, I come here because I know that I'm outspoken and I'm unafraid. And I want to talk with all the rest of you people that are outspoken and unafraid because we need to produce more people like us so that we can stand up. Because my finger can only do so much. But if I hit you with this fist, you're going to feel it. I mean, that's real talk. And, and so that's the reason that I, I came across that I, I did this documentary. Now, the documentary was never something that I was like, hey, hey, I'm, I'm going to do a documentary. No, that's not how it happened. It happened because I went through a, a divorce and it got nasty and I was going to court and I've done nothing wrong and my son was taken away. I'm not allowed to see him. I can't go pick him up from school. You know, the full gamut, all the allegations, everything. And as I'm learning about this, I reach out to, on Facebook and I start learning about all the different groups, all the different, the father's rights and restoring freedom, all the different groups. And I learned how ubiquitous of a problem this was. And I was blown away. So immediately, being a filmmaker, I started writing a script. And I wrote a feature film about this. But as I was writing the script, I was being introduced to more and more people, learning more stories, seeing just how serious this is. And I thought, well, I shouldn't do a movie about this because that would just be my take on it. I want to do something that's vetted, that's factual, so that's how the documentary came about. And I've traveled all over the country for the last year and a half doing this documentary. And it's finally done. Thank God. Again, I want to thank all of you because all of you have enabled me to do this. You've educated me. You've supported me. And I thank you all for that. It's not over, though. Documentary is done. Now we need support. We need people in the theaters. We need you to come and see the documentary and walk away from it with a whole new outlook. For those of you that don't know, and I always say that people know about baby mama drama 
or deadbeat dad issues. They they hear about that's just a scratch of what's going on. This corruption in the family law court system runs so deep that it is completely unbelievable. And over the last two years and talking to all these people, I've heard stories from A to Z. But yet, as we come here at this, this March this year, I'm still hearing stories and I'm still blown away and can't believe the stuff that's being allowed to, to happen to us, to our children, I mean, the, the, to society. Because everyone is affected in one way or another.